Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back. Thanks again for joining us. Hope you're all doing good. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. We're back here in the base, as you see. Um, and we're going to show you a few things. We've done uh, some some stuff off screen to get some progress. Uh, so I did a little bit more mining down here. And I have started building the base. Uh, it took me a minute to get it exactly perfect because the block where the water is and these three is the very center of the base and we wanted to make sure the uh, structure was positioned exactly perfect. Um, so the width of the base is actually from corner to corner where the castle parts are is actually 26 blocks wide because from the wooden pillar to the other wooden pillar is 20 blocks and then there's actually another three after that on each side um so we started doing that we need to do a bunch more mining here uh this direction um but there's an issue with that. Um, oh, okay, the lag reminds me I need to sign out. Like, I always forget. Always forget. <clears throat> Alright. So, this is the issue with that. Is we need to get rid of this lava pond here. So, to do that, we need a bunch of gravel. So, that's what we're going to do now. Is collect more gravel. And I want to show you a few things. I do believe there is a pretty good clump of gravel somewhere nearby. I remember seeing on the way out of the base. Uh, so let's see if we can find, find that real quick. Maybe put up a couple more torches here. There's some gravel right down there. So let's, uh, let's go down here put a couple of torches here so we don't get ambushed by some bad bad guys <clears throat> and we've got a few things to show you as well um, so let's just grab some gravel real quick I like to uh, use the gravel to get rid of the lava ponds because um, it gives the gravel a use and uh, gives us a reason to collect gravel so then we can acquire flint and uh, you need flint for flint and steel and gravel is good because you can uh, use it for multiple things getting one of your lava ponds, uh, building fancy redstone uh, doorways, uh, it's good for pathways, and uh, all kinds of stuff, so let's just grab the rest of this right here, and then we'll call that good, we got a fair amount of flint from that, we got eight, eight flint from that, nice, uh, let's go back up here, I believe this is where the base is, over here someplace, so um, somewhere yeah right over here <clears throat> um so what i'd like to do is let's see i only have okay i only have 56 um so let's mine this out real quick and then we'll see if we can fix this up here I don't mind if I lose a little bit of cobblestone into the, the lava because it's not really that important. So I always just use gravel because it will, you can place it and it'll fall down to the lowest position. It's good for filling lava ponds. And uh, yeah, I'll probably do the rest of this off screen. And also it helps to, um, to do it this way because then you can access the diamonds. Diamonds are generally at the bottom edge of the lava ponds. 
and uh, if you're underneath of them and try to mine them up, uh, you'll end up dying in lava because the lava will fall on you and uh, you'll lose everything. So I usually try to get above the lava and do it this way because it's much safer. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, we're going to need a lot more gravel. We might go to the gravel pit and uh, get a whole bunch of gravel. Probably like six, five or six stacks of gravel. That'll be pretty schnazzy. Um, so we're going to do that later off screen. Because I'll have to get rid of this lava here, that lava over there. Then there's also some more lava right down there and also under there um so let's see make sure we don't forget nothing here uh, let's put some of this stuff away um i'm gonna need another chest down here so maybe we'll just craft up a couple more chests real quick um and then we'll place them uh, just randomly over here i suppose and we'll have to move stuff around and organize better <clears throat> later. Um, let's build some more fences as well. Because the fences that I did have, I did end up using those. Um, and as you see, we have a full bunch of wood, so... Um, oops. Uh... We did some tree farming off screen and <clears throat> uh, yeah, so that should do. We have 47 fences, two gates, and uh, let's put the flint in here because I believe there's already some in there. Put the apples uh, in here. We have a few things to show you, so I think that'll do. Maybe we'll make some more torches real quick, because you can never have enough torches. Just, just never. Um, so let's continue. Let's go to the uh, surface. And what I like about this entrance is you can like run and jump over into it, and then just go straight up. Kind of snazzy. <clears throat> I believe it's this way. So we have finished our boathouse, uh, fishing shack. Uh, we put some flooring in. We put a crafting table there, built a wall, built it into the side of this hillside. Put in a couple doors so we can access both directions. And we have our nice little dock here with the boat fishing shack um i need to move one of the chests the chest that's still up there i need to move that down here um and i did a whole bunch of mining off screen and if you see over there we have some white white horses so i was in the boat and i was i was doing some fishing and i seen over there in the corner of my eye a white horse on the top of the tree and then I was like okay let's go investigate that and note that when I was fishing it was uh, thunder and lightning so there's a thing in Minecraft that happens from time to time is when it's raining and thunder and lightning uh, sometimes there'll be skeletons that'll spawn on zombie horses and I came over here and looked, and that's exactly what happened. There was four zombie horses on top of this tree over here. That one's still there because it can't move far enough to despawn. And then I put the other three into this fence area. Looks like this fellow has escaped. Um, but we can just put them right back in there. Uh, I kind of got to go over here and then jump in there. And the thing I like about the zombie horses is you don't have to tame them. <clears throat> so you can just hop on them and ride them. Uh, so if you look right here, this is the mining that we have done off screen. Uh, we're going to run around the entire area. Um, 
and we have finished the outline of the um, man-made mountain that we're going to craft. All this cobblestone here is the outside edge of where the mountain is going to be. So we have mined all this out, the exact specifications to build the perfect circle. And we have went all the way through the mountain. We found a little bit of water and some stuff down there. And we'll continue over here. And it just keeps going and going. But over here I found something very interesting. There's some clay right here. There was a... There was a little pond right there. But if we come over here, there's something very interesting. I started hearing lots of zombies, and we had actually stumbled upon a zombie spawner right over, right up here a little ways. A lot of mining. This took me like two hours. And that's why I don't record mining on. Uh, because it just takes so long, it's not really the most entertaining videos, and et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, this is how big our mountain's gonna be. So here's the zombie spawner. Um, we left it dark in there so they will spawn. I haven't um, searched those uh, chests yet, but here's another access point for the zombie spawner. So let's let's uh, fix this up and make it more accessible for for us so I believe if we mine this out here then we can access oh no I just heard this the creeper and they have completely blowed us up so now we have to respawn and find our way back home and it is nighttime now uh, there's probably phantoms out. There's a horse. Um, so let's just kind of wander, I suppose. Let's see. Uh, there should be a village nearby. I think it's this way. I don't remember uh, specifically, but um, there's some desert. There's a village there. So I believe we need to go. I need need to go this way because we spawn at the lower right hand corner of the map I believe so zero zero should be this way by all these skeletons and creepers um, so let's just run up over here and see if we can get back to our stuff there <clears throat> man I must have lost some low health or Creepers are just powerful, I suppose. Blew me up. Alright, I think we're going this way. We're going to go a little more left, I believe. Oh, there's another creeper. Hey, how you doing? Very nice. Well, take care. Have fun with that. Alright, here we are at our tree farm. Um, so I put some cobblestone and I planted a row of trees and I have, oh, spider. Um, yeah, so I put the cobblestone eight blocks above the trees so they will not grow uh, bigger than that. So let's, uh, let's go back over here. We need to go this way by the zombie horses because I believe that's very near where we had uh, exploded thanks to Mr. Creeper um yeah so let's just go over here I believe we'll go this way a little bit this is kind of the edge of our mountain there there we go I ran out of torches in there so yeah All right, here we go. This is where we died. There's our stuff. All right, let's grab all of our stuff here. At least he didn't open up the, uh, that spot where the zombies are. Let's put our armor and stuff back on. Let's see. 
Now we gotta organize our stuff again. But that'll be fine. So let's put that stuff up there. Let's get a pickaxe and a torch. I'm gonna need a shovel. And our stick. Alright, there we go. Let's have a stick. And let's, um, we're gonna we need to put some tor torches up here. Oh man, there's a lot of zombies spawning now. Zombies, zombies, zombies. So we're gonna put some torches over here. There's a bunch of gravel. Um, so yeah, we need to torch this up so no more bad guys sneak up on us. Alright, so let's, let's get going on here. So you gotta make a access point for the zombie spawner, so you can access them. Um, so I believe... Hello! Yeah, second here. Alright, there we go. Um, we need to put some torches in there so we can raid those. Uh, chests real quick. There we go. Alright, let's put one here and then see what we have. Ooh, nice. Golden apple. String, bread, cat, again. I don't know why, when you find those music discs, it's always that cat one. Oh, we got some melon seeds. We'll just leave that. Ooh, redstone, nice, yeah. All right, we got name tag, some redstone, some coal, ooh, yeah. All right, let's just take the whole, uh, Oh no, our inventory is pretty much full. Uh, let's take the chest. We'll leave the other one. And pardon my sniffles. Let's grab these torches real quick and get out of here. Oh, we're gonna need a piece of cobblestone quickly. Oh, uh, there's one more torch. Two more. Hi. Oh. Hello, hi, you can't get me. Alright, so yeah, we got, we got an XP farm here. Um, yeah. So, yeah, let's grab that torch real quick. There we go. Very nice, very nice. Now let's get out of here. I just wanted to show you all that. Read those chests a little bit. And uh, let's continue. So let's put some torches up here. And I have to do a whole bunch more mining off screen because there's so much, everything on the inside of the circle must go. And there's gonna be a gigantic crater and it's gonna be massive. Uh, so let's put some torches there and then we'll put one torch right there. There we go. All right, so. All the trees, all the hills, all of pretty much everything on the inside of that, um, this outside edge is going to be mined out. Um, and then we're going to kind of make our artificial mountain and then it'll kind of merge into the surrounding terrain. Yeah. So that's all that stuff. Um, so we showed you the zombie horses, the 
mining process, zombie spawner, um, and then let's move our gardens here, so, um, we need to put some stuff over here in the fishing shack, there's a lot of salmon right there, let's put our, oh, my lag there, pardon me, alright, let's put some more stuff in here, also, too, off screen, I was uh, battling a drowned, and I found almost a completely full uh, durability trident. It was super epic. And I've started to get some good stuff. I got Impaling 3, Mending, Curse of Vanishing, uh, Power 3, Punch 1, Bow. So we're on our way, but we have to do a whole bunch more fishing. Um, so anyways, what I was doing was putting some stuff in here. So let's put some stuff in there. Um, like I so. And then, we need to start an animal farm and we'll just move our garden real quick. So I have kind of built this area out right here in front of the fishing shack, which will be a good area for our garden to be, because it's surrounded by water. And I just put two more blocks of water in it so that they will all be saturated nicely. And we'll leave the flower. It's nice. Lavender up the place a little. So let's grab all of our carrots and stuff from over here. Oh, I do believe we're going to need a hoe. Let's get the stuff. There we go. So I'm gonna constantly, like when I'm uh, fishing and stuff, I'll be able to see the garden directly across the river. So um, when it's all grown up, I'll collect all the good goods uh, from time to time and then we'll have just tons of potatoes, tons of carrots and then we can go back to the village and um, get the villager breeder kicked into high gear. So let's put some of this stuff away. We do need the hoe, so we'll have to go craft one of those real quick. I think there might actually be one of those chests. Um, yes, I did craft one. There we go. And let's go over here. We need to... Um, there's a bit of an issue with the torches here, so... We're going to have to um, have a little bit of the area for some torches. So let's see, let's put some cobblestone here, I believe. Um, I think that'll be pretty decent. We'll put a torch there, torch there. Uh, I think we're going to need another one, kind of maybe in this area, maybe. There we go, and then we're going to need one kind of in the center, I believe. So let's put... Uh, That should be good. Alright. Let me back our boat up a little bit. There we go. Alright. Hey, little Wolfie. Alright, so let's get some stuff going on here. Have a name tag though, we could uh, collect a little wolfy friend. And then can help us uh, do some adventuring later. Let's get some potatoes going on here. There we go. And then 
Let's get another row of carrots. There we go. Yeah. I think I might put some music in this this part, maybe. It's always good to throw some tunes in there. To spice up the video a little bit. I need a couple trap doors so you don't fall in the water. Like that. accidentally going to break that flower when I'm farming these so it'll probably have to be moved someplace so let's see we'll probably get one more row some growing over here. Very nice. Um, oh, we do have more, so that'd be good. Alright. Let's get it going on. Very nice. I was about to break, but that'll be fine. There we go. Let's just call that good for now. We'll do some more later off screen. We'll have a pretty daily garden going here. And let's uh, let's go get a little wolf buddy. Uh, so we're gonna need some bones. Uh, I think I have some in the fishing shack here. Uh, four. So we'll see if he is not super stubborn then we can have a have a wolf buddy little puppy hey puppy you want you want a bone oh you're adventurous oh you went into the boat okay uh want a bone Ooh, one all right yeah he's a very nice puppy so let's get him over here there we go and then to get him out of the boat you have to if you have a lead, I think you can pull them out of the boat with a lead, or if not, then you have to break the break the boat. So there we go. We tamed him. Now he'll follow us. Uh, we don't only really have. We can, we can. Let's take him down to the base. Hey, where are you going? What are you doing? You're silly. Let's go up here, little buddy. Come on. Come on. Oh, we need a name tag, too. Let's have him sit right there. Uh, we need a name tag, and we need an anvil. So let's just take the three name tags. We'll take him down to... I don't know. He can stay, he can stay up here in the fishing shack. Come on over here. Come on. Are you coming? There we go. Not so far, right over here. Right over here. Want another bone? All right, you wanna just sit right there. Okay, just don't fall in the water. Uh, so we're gonna have to craft an anvil. I don't know, let's let's just do that right now. And then we'll call this a episode here. Okay, he can't go down the waterfall, so we have to take the cave system route to get him down to the base. Um, you coming? Let's go. Oh, there he is. They're kind of silly. They just like stand there and then they they spawn towards you. Like, come on. All right, so let's get down here. He should follow us pretty decently. Uh, we need some iron and we craft up a um, anvil, and then we can name our dog. Have a little buddy to. Help us on some adventuring. That'd be quite snazzy. Uh, so we go this way. We have to do a bunch of switchbacks here. You coming, buddy? 
And go down here. I don't know. If you get too far away, then he'll just uh, spawn to wherever you're at. Uh, where is my... Hey, there it is. Um, I think it's this way, actually. There was... There's some slime stuff. Alright, there it is. Alright, come down here. It's where it's safe. Right over here in the actual... The actual base. There you are. Right over here, buddy. Come on. There you go. You can just sit right there by the redstone. Um... So let's get some iron and craft up an anvil real quick. Alright, let's see. We need some iron. And what do you do? No. No, thank you. Uh, anvil. Let's see. Anvil. So we need blocks of. Uh, I think it's this way. And then. There we go. Oh now we oh now we don't have enough iron. Um Okay, we need four iron I believe. Four iron Alright, let's roll. We need four iron. Let's see if we can find some. There's one right there. There's two. Alright, we're on our way. We just need four. And this is our four right there. Five. Snazzy. Oh, there's another one too. We can get it later though. Uh oh, skeleton I think. Alright, let's get up here. Craft our anvil. There we go. Um, oh, I went over too far. Oh, we need to smelt them. Um, where's my iron? Oh, Minecraft. Um, yeah, so let's do that real quick, and, yeah. Oh no, we're already over a half hour, so let's just end the episode here. Off screen, I am going to create an anvil and name, uh, Buddy, and then, uh, we'll continue in the next episode. So this was Vanilla Minecraft PlayStation 3 Episode 4 Sweet Bailey Survival Series. I hope you enjoyed Smash the like button. Consider subscribing. Consider leaving a nice comment down below. Consider sharing the video with a friend or family member you think may like the video. And uh, take care. Uh, sorry, no tip of the day in this one because we have ran out of time. So, sorry. But uh, we'll give you a good tip of the day in the next video. Later. Peace.